It says, suppose you are a buyer designing an optimal procurement contract, and then it goes on to, to tell us that cost could either be high or low. Again, immediately we want to identify that the word procurement, let us know this is adverse selection. We remember the problem where we had a, some chance of low cost, some chance of high cost. We wanted to incentivize the guy to tell the truth if costs were in fact low, and we wanted to cover his cost and uh, if costs were high because we, we couldn't bankrupt the guy. This one is a true false question. It says, then when choosing the quantity for the contract option, you intend to be selected if costs turn out to be high, the marginal benefit of another unit is above the marginal production cost to keep the producer honest in the case the costs turn out to be low. Well, this is true. Again, we're going to use the graph to solve this. Remember the graph, well, we, when, we, when we were picking the low quantity, if costs turn out to be low, we simply equated the marginal cost to the marginal benefit. We would think that we would do the same for the high cost job and produce this efficient quantity, but instead we restricted quantity to equate the loss in profit from the high cost job to the gain in profit from the low cost job. So if you notice at this point, it is true that the marginal benefit, which is way up here, is above the marginal cost for this high cost job. And again, that is in order to keep the producer honest in case costs are not to be low. We're telling him that if you go ahead and tell us costs are low, we're gonna make it more worth your while. We're gonna make it just as, just as worth your while as if, um, instead of as if you lied and said costs are high when they in fact were low. So this goes back to the truth telling constraint. Again, memorize this graph because it's gonna answer a bunch of these questions like this um, very easily. And let's look at another example. This one says the same thing, the same buildup, but then the question says, then the optimal quantity for the contract option you intend to be selected if costs turn out to be low will balance the marginal benefit of another unit with its marginal cost plus an adjustment necessary to keep the producer honest. Well, that's not true. It would have been true if it stopped at will balance the marginal benefit of another unit with its marginal cost because like we said, we do, when, pro when producing QL, we do balance the marginal benefit with its marginal cost. There's no plus any additional to keep the producer honest. So again, memorize this graph. It will help you a lot and learn how to translate the words into the picture.